Hi, this is Joey Davidson, Senior Gaming Editor at TechnoBuffalo.com, and I'm here with a look at Far Cry 3. Alright, Far Cry 3 features a very expansive world, um, and rather than dive into one of the missions in the game and possibly spoil any plot lines, I think I'm at kind of a pivotal point in the campaign itself. I decided to hop onto a hang glider and just reclaim one of these pirate controlled locations. But this is the, the game's map, it's massive. There's a lot to do in Far Cry 3 and even where I am right now I haven't really paid too much attention to the story missions because I keep getting sucked into these side quest moments. Whether it's hunting and crafting uh, holsters and, and basically different elements in order to make me carry more gear or like hunting down these random island relics or finding these encampments for pirates in order to reclaim them for the peaceful rebels. Well, they're not really peaceful. They're gun-toting rebels who will kill people, but whatever. They're friends. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of grab a quick slice of some action in the game as I try desperately not to crash land this hang glider. I fail miserably, of course, but... Hang gliders are pretty sweet. They are returning from Far Cry 2. You could use them there. Um, they're actually really useful here. Fast travel is really easy as well. That was always a problem in Far Cry 2, but that's been addressed. The game's actually a joy to explore. So you'll see me approach this basically pirate base. There's not very many pirates at it, and I want to take it as my own in order to create a fast travel point and somewhere that I can stock up on guns and ammo and find rides and not be in danger. And rather than move in and take them out in a traditional fashion, you'll see me shoot an animal out of a cage. It's actually a bear. So let's let that unfold. It's clearly very hot on this island. You also might notice here that the AI is painfully stupid. I have time to take out a camera, stand in front of him, aim my sniper rifle, and shoot him in the face. Or chest. Whatever. Just a word to the wise, whenever you're recapturing these pirate bases, make sure to disable the alarms. If one of the pirates runs over to the alarms and activates them, you'll see reinforcements come in and things get a little messy. Also, in a moment here, you're going to see some fire spread. Now, the fire spreading mechanic was pretty awesome in Far Cry 2. It's back in Far Cry 3, though I will say that the fire looks kind of bad. Here I am about to shoot this bear cage out once I get a better angle. Um... It, maybe it's just the Xbox 360 build of the game, maybe the PC version features better fire graphics, but you'll notice them, they look, I don't know, cheap might be the best word for it. This poor bear, rather than use my own ammo, I'll just shoot from this mounted machine gun. There's one other really minor complaint I have about this game, it's just silly. When you skin an animal, rather than taking their fur, you like get some kind of weird hunk of meat and their fur remains on their corpse, just strange. Far Cry 3 is out right now for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and PC platforms. There is a ton of stuff to do in this game. It's probably one of the best values for 2012. Uh, I would check it out if you're a fan of shooters and exploration and hunting and all kinds of craziness. So far, it's pretty good. 
Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Our review should be up early next week. Check out more of our coverage on technobuffalo.com.